Republican-turned-independent Charlie Crist is speaking at the DNC tonight, but he's already drawing fire from Republicans who want to portray him as a political shapeshifter who abandoned his principles for political gain. That's the point of a new ad from the Florida GOP that may also be a preemptive strike if the former governor tries to reclaim his old job in 2014 as a Democrat. Here's a bit of the ad. And I'm a pro-life, pro-gun, anti-tax Republican. How conservative are you, Charlie? Well, as bad as conservative as you can get. Well, as bad as conservative as you can get. Lenny Curry is chairman of the Florida Republican Party, the man responsible for that ad. And I'm told from a Florida viewer that that ad was actually running during commercial break. You guys are really airing this ad. Uh, what's the point of this? You're trying to uh, uh, make Democrats not like Charlie Crist? We want Democrats to know all across the country who Debbie Wasserman Schultz and the DNC has invited to speak at their convention. That is a man without a party, a man without a base, which makes him a dangerous, crass political opportunist. He's a self-proclaimed Ronald Reagan, Jeb Bush Republican, and his views on our abortion are the same as Aiken. Do you believe, though, that he's really a conservative Republican? His entire record is, we just saw it on the ad, I'm a conservative, I'm as conservative as it gets. He's pro-life, he's pro-gun, He's anti-tax. Those are Charlie Chris words. In fact, he said he did not endorse the stimulus package. He compared the re-election of Barack Obama to the Carter-Reagan election of 1980. Those are Charlie Chris's own words. So why do you think he has switched now? He's a man without a party and a man without a base, which makes him incredibly dangerous with nothing to lose. So you're trying to give advice to the Democratic Party? We want to make sure that, that the Democrats understand who they've invited to speak at their convention. I want to talk a little bit about Florida. There has been uh, this idea that there's tension between Governor Scott and, and your side of the, of the state Republican Party and the Romney campaign. Truth to it? No truth at all. We're working together. We have the same message. The economy's begun to turn around under Governor Scott. We would, have, however, be in well, much. Let me stop there yeah. because that has been the bone of contention. In fact, let me play uh, a, a soundbite from Governor Scott that apparently didn't have the Romney uh, campaign too happy. Here's what he said. Tourism's way up. Um, Restaurant uh, restaurants are doing better, way better. The home prices are up, home sales are up, new home construction's up, exports are up. Um, so it, like, you look at all the in indicators, you're, the, the money you're sending to the states up. Um, so we're we're doing the right things, but we still have 800,000 people out of work. So we still we still have a lot to do. Obviously, the Romney campaign believes that you guys are, are not on, on the same page on this issue about where the economy is in the state of Florida. I, I work with the Romney camp. I work with Governor Scott camp. We are there, There's never been any conversation about tamp down your message. We have begun to turn things around. Look, under the Charlie Chris Obama era, when they were in at the same time, we lost over 200,000 jobs in the state of Florida. Since then, we've created over 100,000 jobs under Governor Scott. We'd be in much better shape if we had a Mitt Romney in office. Why does President Obama not get any credit for what the job gains are in Florida? He, he's about big government, big tax. Uh, it's Governor Scott and the Florida Legislature's leadership. Look at the record when it was Barack Obama and Charlie Crist when they were in office serving for one year together, over 200,000 jobs lost. All right, Lenny Curry, the chairman of the Florida Republican Party, Always here to give advice to the uh, <laughs> to the Democrats about Charlie Crist. Thanks for coming Always on. Always a pleasure. Thank All right, you. Thanks, sir.